Boutique back again today to show you um, another hair tutorial. So this is one that you guys have requested quite a bit recently, and this is gonna be a quick updo, dressier style updo. I'm getting ready to record for the boutique, so I need something to do with my hair that is kind of dirty. Uh, it hasn't been washed in a few days. It needs to look better than this in order to put on clothes and hopefully look good in them. So let's get it, go ahead and get started. I'll use my big pick to back home and kind of clean up this hair just a little bit. You'll see here it's starting to get a little bit oily, it's just kind of on the verge of, it needed wash last night, but I was too tired, you know, <laughs> so I didn't wash it. Usually I wash my hair at night and I let it dry overnight so I don't have to blow dry it. Um, and so I was too tired to do that, but I knew I needed to do some recording today. And so here it is, it is what it is. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush out the ends. Now they have been slightly curled before you can see that. I'm gonna brush these out because I'm gonna be using these. Now I tend to not brush my hair out in between washings just because it's kind of bad for it to brush out the ends with curls in it. So I don't tend to do it much. So I'm not gonna brush more than just what I absolutely have to right there at the very ends. All right, so now I've done a little bit of back combing, gotten it kind of up where I want it. I'm gonna use some Trace Semi Hair Spray just to sort of Give it a little firm bump up there. And then I'm going to start taking a few of these pieces up here and curling them. So I take kind of a piece from where my part is here and I'm gonna use a three quarter barrel curling iron, you know, my favorite Conair curling iron, and I'm gonna just wrap it around like this. Now my goal here is to just create a couple of distinguished kind of curls that are gonna add some uh, texture to the top of my head. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm not gonna move it at all. I'm gonna let it set up a little bit because if you take your time and don't touch the curls after they come off the curling iron for a minute, they set up a bit better and they last a bit longer. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, letting this one have just a little bit longer because I used a kind of thick piece there. I'm gonna go here to this piece at the front. Just doing a couple pieces throughout here. Give it a little texture. And these pieces are shorter than the rest of my hair, and the reason they're shorter is because I've curled them for years and years and years. Do another one here. So you'll see, this one's a bit longer. And when they're a bit longer like that, I don't even curl, drop and stuff. I don't even curl all the way to the end, I just kind of curl the top. I'm just wanting the crown of my head to have some texture. See that? Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do, on the other side of the part, just like one or two, just to give it a little texture on that side as well. This doesn't have to be a lengthy experience, as you can see. I've only been doing it for a little over a minute, and I'm almost done with this top part. I'm all about the fast hairdo, you know? <laughs> the faster the better, I tell ya. Look pretty in a fast amount of time, that is the goal. Okay, so next I'm gonna take these little hairs uh, that I curled, and I'm gonna slightly separate them. Now, I want them to stay a little bit thick, because that's what helps add that dimension and texture. So I'm not gonna separate them too much. I'm just gonna pull them apart just ever so slightly up here. Trying not to make them too frizzy. When I make them too frizzy, it's not a good experience. So I'm gonna take those, pull them up in the air and spray them. And I pull them up so that they kind of stay up and curly. Do the same thing on this side. Separate those ever so slightly. All right, see that? So I added so much texture and dimension in a minute and a half of curling, two minutes, whatever, something like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take a piece that I determined I wanna keep in the front of my face and I'm gonna hold it out. I might take one over here too, just for the fun of it. Then I'm gonna take the rest of these hairs and I'm gonna pull them back into a ponytail. Now you see how I have these kind of curly dimensions here? I want to aim to keep those. So my goal is gonna to be to keep some of those alive while I put it back in a ponytail. I'm just gonna take it, put it back in a basic ponytail at the back of my neck. I use the big, thick rubber bands that have no metal pieces in them so that I don't get as much breakage. I'm gonna pull up on these hairs around here this curl here is a little bit too uh, bold. So I'm gonna shape that one down a little bit. And I'm just pulling out on these hairs just ever so slightly. I wanna create some dimension there. 
without it being too big. Occasionally you'll get one that's like, just a little, just a little uh, daring, doing its own thing. Just gotta tell it what to do. <laughs> Hairspray helps. Hairspray always helps tell things what to do, I'm telling you. Okay. It's being a little funky. I just keep messing with it till I get it more how I want it. There, getting closer. All right. <laughs> So you can see, you can mess with those however much or however little that you personally want to. I'm gonna keep moving on and do in the back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the ends of my hair, separate it into like four little sections, and I'm just gonna very briefly curl the bottom. So you see I come up here. I'm just gonna curl these ends up just a little bit. Take another little section here. making sure to get the ends tucked under, which I didn't accomplish that last time, so I had to kind of redo it. So you see it's a little flat over here. Once I get it up, I'll be able to bobby pin that kind of up more where I want it. That's one of the tricks that I use as well. Now, depending on how thick or not thick your hair is, you might need less sections, more sections. Your goal is just to create some curly end pieces because you're gonna leave those out of your bun once we put it back up. That's the goal. Just trying to create some curlies here at the bottom. Now, if your hair has already been curled, like if it's day old curls, this is an awesome hairstyle to do with the day old curls as well because you won't even have to do this step that I'm doing right now. You might not even have to do the top part step. So you'll be able to just kind of do things a little bit faster, which is always nice. You can do it using your older curls that you've already got. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these and I'm just gonna separate them. And these ones I'm gonna separate in a little bit smaller of sections than I did the top. Um, not super small, but, you know, smaller. I don't wanna create a little more fluff here on the bottom. Okay, I knew I missed one, missed this bottom one. Then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna spray these as well. Okay, so now I've got those. Okay, next I'm going to take my hair and basically put it in a bun. So I'm gonna just take it and twist it lightly this way and then form it here around my head. Now here's where the fun step comes in. You're gonna take this piece and you're not gonna fully form it. So you're gonna put it around the bottom and I'm just gonna kind of set it over there. Now, if your hair is shorter, you might go around less times. If your hair is longer, you might go around more times. Your goal being just to leave a section of hair right over here on the side. So now you'll see, I'm gonna put some of these bobby pins in. I use big roller pins, and I put them into the middle, hit my head, and then push them sideways. So in, hit the head, and push sideways. That's gonna hold your hair in, hit your head, push sideways. Hold your head with, hold your hair with less pins, which is always my goal. Less pins, always the best. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it, I'm just gonna pull out some of these pieces. You'll see here, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pulling at them. I'm making it look less like a boring, ordinary bun, giving it a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna get my hand mirror so I can show you this last part. So All right, now with my hand mirror, I'm gonna look at what I've got going on back here. And I'm gonna take this top piece, once I have it kind of pulled out, I don't want a hole in the middle, I don't want a donut bun. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna pull that top piece down a little bit. So look at how much it changed it. From a donut bun, oops, sorry, I get my little body thing. There, okay. From a donut bun, to so just more interesting, just by taking that top piece, putting it down. I'm gonna use a little bobby pin, I'm just gonna bobby pin that in. Now, depending on how it looks, I may pull out some more pieces here, and I want this pin to disappear. So I'm gonna push it out a little differently. Good. Now I'm gonna pull out some of these a bit more, just to make it a little more interesting. 
I'm gonna tuck a bobby pin up in this spot because it's a little low. And then I'm just gonna spray that. Get all the wispies out of the way. And spray that down. All right, then I'm gonna come and mess with the front a little more. So these curls here, I'm just gonna perk them up a bit. Just kind of spray them up and off to the side. Take these hairs that I was messing with previously, make sure out there where I want them. Sometimes I'll hold them up and see how I did that. Hold it up and kind of blew at it until it held in the position I wanted it. Take this curl. I'm gonna recurl it because it's not, it doesn't have as much life as I want it to have. Okay. I'm gonna let that set up a little bit while I do the same with this one. I may or may not keep this curl over here. We'll see. Oop, I already decided to come out. Okay, just let that be. I'm gonna take this one, pull it through my hands, hold it in the air. It's great. And then I'm going to direct it to the side of my face that I want it at. So it's a little bit thick for me, so I don't want it quite that thick. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna get rid of some of it. And the way I do that is I just kind of take it like this. I'm gonna find a little bobby pin. I'm just gonna pin it into this bun. There. Let's try this again. Now because I took some of it, it changed the curl, so I'm gonna curl it again. <laughs> this is real life here, gals. It's what it really looks like sometimes doesn't always curl perfectly the first time. That's okay. Do it again. Do it again. When in doubt, do it again. Sometimes you do it again and again and again. It's just looking like this one might require it. Oh well. Okay. I'm just going to be happy with this thing. Today, it's going to be a crazy curl. That's what it's going to be. All right, so there we have it. Um, that is my quick, easy updo that you guys see a lot. Sometimes I'll take this one and just put it behind my ear, which is probably what I would do today as well. Don't want too much curl going on there. Um, sometimes I'll take this and you know put it like this back behind my ear. So lots of different ways that you can use this hairstyle. You can pin this up more if you don't want those curls quite uh, so long over there. You can pin them up a little bit, keep them more like that. I like having them long. It just kind of adds something. When I'm doing lives, you know, it's one of those things where my hair, the more dramatic it is, it's not always a bad thing. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is the easy up to style. Check it out. You can uh, find me wearing this one a lot on the lives at the King's Daughter Boutique. Alrighty, thank you.